Hi, Elven Magi. It is Neo here. So I've already watched this whole VOD and there's a lot of stuff we're going to talk about. And it's mostly because we are running a poke comp against a brawl comp. So it's kind of how do we navigate um, doing that. And a lot of the times the answer to how do we run poke against brawl is taking high grounds. So I, on this map especially, I really want us to like think about how it's going to be harder for them to hit us if we were to take a high ground. Obviously, on this point, it's a little bit harder. But we really want to try and take this space and then eventually get it to where our DPS can be up here and have this space for free because then we're not going to be pressured as much by the Junker Queen, if at all. Um, and then we're going to talk a little bit about our cooldowns. So... Let us begin. The payload advances. So this is all fine. It sucks that your hunter dies. The barrier weakens. That's okay. We could be recalling our shield a little bit sooner. I really want us to kind of think about our shield as sort of a like burst. So we um, like burst damage mitigation. So we cast it out. It takes a burst of damage and we recall it back really quickly. It's just like in this moment right now, this is where I need to block the damage and then you call it back. So that way it can start recharging even faster. And um, it's almost like, think about it as if the enemy team almost always has a Reinhardt who has shatter. So it's just like, oh, we need to instantly block this damage, but then we need to call it back because he didn't do it. And now he could just go in front of the shield and we need it back up off a of cooldown and recharging. So that way it's, um, oh, we get bigger uptime with the shield. So I want us recalling it a little bit faster. This is fine. So right here, I think we're tunneling a bit on the tank. We see this Ana. Um, over here and we know that she's getting really pressured and then right here we could keep shooting in this direction and um, we could push up as we're shooting this Ana and shield her off so that way she can no longer heal the Junker Queen and we're forcing the, um, so the Junker Queen is now getting pressured because she, she can get hit by the rest of our team she can't get healed anymore because we've shielded her off and we can put pressure on all these people so they fall back and it's even harder for them to help the Junker Queen so this is what a lot of the times you'll hear other players talking about like trading back lines this is a moment where you can kind of do that where you're kind of letting the Junker Queen roam free in this area but she, all, all of your team can kind of look at her because of where she's positioned and you can force these people to fall back and not be able to help her with your shield. So that moment I see that Ana, I'm like, oh, okay, this is a moment that I can um, kind of pounce on and uh, deny all this healing from her by shielding. And I can um, get a lot of damage in because there are three of them there. It's a lot of splash damage, like especially right here when we see her. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, she doesn't have nade. She's on fire. It's very easy to push her here. And I, I want to recalling shield here, too. But yeah, we just kind of get tunneled on the enemy tank there. It's a really good opportunity to push up. Don't worry about the payload. Yeah, just keep pushing up. And then here, now that we've taken all this space, we want to set high ground. And the good news is, is since we've kind of gotten past this corner, we no longer really need this high ground. This is all our space. Kind of think about, like... Oh yes, Simba, everything the light touches is us. So everything past the payload is ours, but we want to take more. We want to be more greedy. So we can try and take this high ground and allow our Ash to set up here if we need to. Um, and then if we feel like we have to, we can fall back. We could try and set up. Uh, we just want to make sure that these places are ours. So I really want us to push up and make sure we pressure bridge and whether that's up here um, and getting a bunch of like shots down on the, um so what what i'm trying to say here is in this scenario the more pressure you put on them and sigma has a lot of damage you're gonna force out cooldowns and abilities if you get the junker queen too low she's gonna shout if you get the ana too low she's gonna nade the team if you put pressure on the mercy she's gonna constantly be flying everywhere the sick uh, the hanzo is gonna see you and he's gonna pop storm arrow if you put pressure on the reaper he's gonna wraith and so by you being up here and forcing out these cooldowns these are not abilities they're gonna have when they try and engage in this next fight so 
we really, as a tank player, and especially as a high damage output tank like Sigma is, we want to make sure we're pushing up and forcing out abilities. So that's why I want to setting up on this high ground if possible, but if not possible, even setting up right here isn't bad because we can still um, shoot our uh, primary fire down right here. What is it called? Okay, it won't tell me. Um, we can shoot his primary fire down that lane and it'll kind of splash. So let's say we're just standing here. It's going to like burst right about here and then this will still make it harder for them to group up. And we could even push a little bit further and be around this corner. So that way we still have natural cover. But obviously ideal is high ground. So I really want us pushing up here. Okay, one second. This is okay. So, um, I like us pressuring the Reaper here, but the second we see him Wraith, Wraith is a very, very big cooldown. It's a very strong ability for Reaper. I want us to chase him. And also, because we weren't pushed up, they completely got this bridge area for free. Um, so it's kind of like, especially when we're running a poke comp, it's... And especially on Sigma, you know, his effective range is quite a bit away from him. I'd say it ends about right here is his effective range. So we can take this space and be kind of greedy with it and then use our abilities to fall down, down and give space. So with Poke especially, it's kind of a mix of like the waves of, okay, I'm going to try and get as much space as possible. And because we're against Brawl, they're going to run at us and we just need to back up. But because in the downtime, I took all this space, I can give a lot without losing like payload progress. So, and honestly, um, I don't know if people have a great as understanding of this in Overwatch 2 as they did in Overwatch 1. You really only need one person on the payload. It should be one or three, not two. And a lot of the times it is just one. It's fine because as a tank player, we want to just take as much space as possible and then slowly give it less and uh, like give it back. Well, that, that is generally a lot of tanks, but especially Sigma. It's just, okay, how greedy can I be in the downtime? So that way, when the fight actually engages, I can I can slowly give away. And I really want us to try and pressure this Reaper here. Because also, we have all of our cooldowns and a full shield here. So if we just push up here, even when we, we see the Junker Queen and stuff like that, it, it can... Oh, we could maybe uh, fully get him. So, yeah, it sucks that we're in the, in the face of the brawl comp and our shield's up, so it's like we don't have it up here. But honestly, this is kind of lost, so we should need to go for next. So there's a few interactions with Sigma and Junker Queen in particular. Like, if she's gonna axe, you can, uh, you can try and predict the axe with Brock. Um, you can try and block the knife with shield, and then you just recall your shield as soon as you do that because her repositioning with the knife is very powerful. But the best way we can play against her as Sigma is if you don't want to deal with those small interactions until like you really, really have to and you get more in tune with it, is just take the high ground. So up here, I really want us taking the top left high ground. See, like we could kind of push out with shield here and then recall it and then be in a better spot for engagement. That was good, Brock. Another thing is against this Reaper, we want to make sure we have suck for when he's in their face. I want us kind of looking for an ult here because we're even. Very nice. That's what I'm talking about, that interaction between the axe and the rock. It's also going to be really hard for you to get a lot of value out of suck against the comp that they're currently running. Um, oh, very nice bad cap. Uh, but yeah. I like this because you're forcing out the Moira resource. See, even here, like, if we- we can either engage because the Reaper's in our face, we could choose the to, like, suck appears. right here. I do like generally going shield, suck, shield, so as you put out the shield, you recall it, and then when you're taking all the damage, you suck, and then you can re-engage again with the shield. But I really want us thinking about the shield as an engagement ability rather than, like, a damage mitigation ability. So, like- oh, shoot. Um, so like right there, we let the shield take a lot of damage when it doesn't necessarily have to and it's no longer really providing that much for a team. So I want us like literally just taking like this burst and then we can just uh, 
Like, Accepting so Sigma is a lot chances. about resource management with like cooldown management, with shield health management, and your own health management. So if you're not like super low, then we could, we can use our shield as like increasing our uptime so we can get healed more. So it's like, oh, we could have stayed in, taken a little bit more damage and then shielded out to get healed up. But that, I, I, you need to just have a little bit more intention behind these abilities of like, oh, what am I actually trying to accomplish when I do here? Like, if I put out this shield, am I going to get extra healed up? If I suck, am I actually going to get over health? If I still have over health, am I using it? Just a little, it's like a lot of small details like that that'll help you rank up. I don't mind this. I really love that we're pushing up with it. This is good. And that's what I mean by the shield being an engagement ability. That's exactly what I'm talking about. But here now, I want us pushing up because, again, since we're going against this Brawl comp, the best thing we can do is try and get this high ground. Our Ash should be going with us. We could stand right here, which would be very good. You could even get kind of greedy and go all the way up here and then fall back to up here. But now they're getting all this space because we didn't take it kind of for free. And they didn't have to use like any cooldowns to, uh, to like, to take it. This is fine. We're probably gonna lose this for a few reasons. I'm glad that we didn't ult, but I'd really want us to think about, like there's a few times here where maybe if we pushed up, we could have tried to um, punish them on this high ground for with our ult. It's just like, yeah, especially right here, this could have been a really tasty ult. So don't think about try not to hold it too much because we output so much damage on Sigma we can build our ult quite quickly. It's okay. It's yeah. Well, this fight was already lost, so it one of fights when we're already down like a support and somebody else. I'm like, uh, it doesn't really matter what you do at that point. It's very unlikely that someone, including yourself, is gonna make a game changing play to take it from a five v three to a winning fight. It's possible, it's just very, very unlikely. Even one pick, it's it can be really hard. This is fine. I want us recalling shield a lot faster though. Yeah, I love how you pushed out to engage, but we just need to um, use it a little bit sooner. So this is a bit unfortunate. There's a few things that could have happened here. Um, I don't think we could have known that the cast was up here, but if we had the intention of taking the high ground, we could have tried to make sure that our specifically Ash player can have this high ground and that way she can have like free shots on all these people. Um, I could talk about like awareness about our, our team being back here and so we need to make sure that we shield this bridge. Like I don't think we really are aware that the cast is up there and I'm saying that as like, oh, if I was in your position, I'm not 100% sure I'd be aware of that either. But if we need to make sure that our team crosses this bridge and it's very scary to do so against this high ground. So you just want, want to be especially careful on this bridge that our team can get past it without dying to a hit scan in particular. And so part of the way we can do that is we can take this high ground. Obviously, we can shield them until we get there. We can like use our damage mitigation abilities to get our team to wrap around this way and then take this high ground. And then our Ash could be here and shooting down on them for free from either this angle or this angle. And because we took the high ground, it'll also force them to basically retreat to back to this this corner to try and take a high ground fight so and also we're down our genji right now so uh we just need to be aware that one our team isn't fully grouped yet and two that our team hasn't crossed the bridge so don't be afraid to like look behind you i like that you really tried this is a good try Yeah, that, that was pretty good. I don't mind this because we need to get healed. And I don't mind this because you're trying to help your Ash, but it, I'm very scared for our health. Yeah, there we go. So every engagement we take, I really want us to take it as five. This is okay. Nice. So from there, we could have uh, thought about ending our ult on one of these high grounds. So like if we were here, we could put pressure up there. I do, I, I kind of don't mind you ending it on the low ground because I, I, Moira and Reaper are kind of a force to be reckoned with. So, but that's something you can kind of think about is like, oh, that's the one 
quick vertical mobility I have, where should I try and be when it's over? We have a slight audio cue that the Reaper is flanking, and now we have a visual cue. I don't mind this, I like the show dancing. I really like that you're adding in the melees. Now he has Wraith, we want to push him. Nice, he died. Very nice. That's enough. And now I1 is pushing up so we can take this next corner. Very good. Very nice try. But I want us to think like, oh, okay, so when we see this beam, we know the Mercy is here. So if we shoot more in this direction, we are pressuring the Mercy, and then that forces the Queen to make a choice of either, do I want to keep trying to keep this frontline presence and our Mercy is going to get hurt, or do I um, try and help our Mercy in particular? So I want you trying to shoot at the Mercy here. Yeah, like this angle is very good. But we can kind of even swing wide because we have a lot of um, resources and then we can fall back. Yeah, I'd much rather you recall shield too early than too late. And I want us pushing up to this next corner. So again, we gave them a lot of free space um, because we didn't push up to this corner. So they took all the way from their spawn to here. When if we were like even holding, if we were like holding this side or even just right here and getting this damage in. Honestly, you can hold either side because you're Sigma. So you can just shield yourself to cross this choke again. Um, or you could even be up here. Uh, you could have hit like your shots would go all the way to here so it forces them to switch to healing instead of damage boosting it forces orb out it forces shout out it, it forces a lot of abilities if you're just pushed up a little bit more here and the more abilities they have to use before the fight takes the less they're going to have in the fight this is unfortunate there's not much you can do here so that's why I'm saying, like, maybe we could have forced these abilities out sooner or in a better spot, so that way instead of them being able to completely come out of the choke and use those two ultimates, maybe they have to use it on less people because you force them so much pressure in the choke that they can no longer, like, commit both ultimates to there. It, they'd have to commit it sooner, or they'd have to commit it in a different way. Like, maybe Moira had to use that, that defensively instead of offensively. Results. Or maybe the queen could only hit you because you're putting so much pressure in the choke that she ults and it only hits you plus like one other person instead of having to come out the door and having a straight line on the rest of your team. This is okay. I want us to try and take high ground. I don't mind us going left even because Sigma's pretty strong in a room. I think you chose suck a little early there, but it's fine. Just burst with your shield, so you, you can get, um, you can use that to get healed up. Now our shield's completely broken. And now we can look for a pretty good ult here. Honestly, wouldn't even mind right here. So I don't fully mind this, but I want you just, especially when you see this, just shoot at them. Like, uh, they kind of see this position, and look at how juicy this would be if you just shot an orb, like, right at where the cast is right now. Just getting some extra damage in, especially right- you're damage boosted, and right before you ult, that little, like, extra pepper damage could be enough to, um, solidify a kill. Yo, I think you have an awesome cast about a lot faster. Okay, they used two more ults, so that's fine. Make sure we're shooting when we're ulting. So I really want us here trying to take the high ground, so where the Genji is right now. Because if we're firing into that room especially, it, it's very, very strong on Sigma. Just the, the ricochet and the splash damage, it, it's, it's, it's almost like playing against Junkrat. Need to focus here. Nice. It's fine. We got a good blade. Nobody left, huh? 
So yeah, I want us pushing up. Just shoot at them as well. So you can like shoot, rock, shoot, but I, I would just, we kind of want to save our rock in this scenario because we know that they're going to come back very, very like kind of strong. And so having that possibility to stun can be good. So when we see this, just like shoot into rooms, especially like this and this, because we get that splash damage and that's a lot of damage output. Very nice. Stopping that. And like we could have tried to rock that if we had it, but it was still on cooldown. This is unfortunate, there's no one really to suck damage from. This is all fine. That one is shooting into that room too, if we can. Okay. So the best spot for us to set up here is up. Oops, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Okay, the best place for us to set up is actually like up here. Um, cause that way we can pepper in some damage again, especially if they're on Rhine, it's gonna be very hard for them to hit us. And we can just, like that's kind of the point of, of poke is we're just pushing out constant damage to them. Um, so as they walk into us, they have to use resources. Um, and, and that's that's the whole point of our comp and so that means that one we have to play a little bit aggressively so that way we can give space so when they push into us it, it's just like less and less and less that they they can do um so if we start up here we can basically fire into their spawn and then as they get closer we can fall back this way or we can completely fall back this way if we want to and then we could play this corner where we could just um drop and fall back here but honestly if you're up here uh, the chance that you'll eventually need to drop is kind of low. So just just think about playing this high ground in particular on this map and then getting a lot of like beginning pressure because also the beginning pressure will, will help build our ultimate so we can ult more aggressively and ultimately just be a more aggressive tank. So like I want us swinging out here and, and just firing a damage like where Kiriko is. And now where our, our Hanzo is. Yeah. Oh, we're not like old Orisa. Like, I don't know if you played Overwatch 1, but where you would stand behind the shield. This is a lot of like, burst, I'm gonna block this, I'm gonna block this, and then it goes, it comes, um, you almost want to play very similar to Reinhardt shield, but on a cooldown. Yeah, so they got a lot of free space at the beginning and now they kind of had this momentum and they have this uh, this space to like kind of push into us. So now we're stuck into a close range fight with a brawl comp. And the other unfortunate thing is there's like no one on their team we're really gonna suck damage from. The only person on the enemy team who we can really get value out of the, um, the suck ability is Hanzo. Good. Use rock when you're in Katsune. Yep. It's unfortunate. It's a very good attempt and we almost have ult now. But we just need to, like, it sucks that, that that's the engagement that we finally got, like, a real fight. It's partially like, oh, we're trying to make this space so Hanzo can get an entry pick. And it's going to be very hard for him to get an entry pick against their comp. Um, but it also means that, oh, Hanzo can be damage boosted and shoot the shield as we're, uh, as they like push into us and, and stuff like that. And we can shoot the shield because we can do a lot of damage as well. So I kind of want to stay on this high ground so that way we can, um, get some pick damage in and then look for a really aggressive ult. This is fine. This is all fine. Bonus is recalling shield. Yeah, nice. And then just pushing up. Very good. And now after we get this pick, which we will, yeah, just make sure you're in effective range to get a little bit closer while she's doing this. No, we could have definitely gotten like greedy and gotten that pick and then maybe even gotten the break afterwards. It's just we we forgot our effective range for a second. So now I need us retaking high ground, whether that means going up the stairs to your right right now or going up the ones behind you. I, I want us setting up high ground so that way 
they are forced to find a way to push into us. So because we weren't high ground and we chose to take kind of like a payload fight, they can just run main and run into us versus if we were on high ground, they have to take that entire stair route to get to you guys and you can shoot at them the whole time they're doing that. Only in unity will we find strength. You can just juggle and spin out. It, it, this is going to be kind of hard against their comp still, um, playing Arissa. And I can tell um, you're more used to playing Sigma than you are Arissa. But I want his, um, very good so far, and then we need to just spin backwards. Yeah. We're, we're very lucky that he got that dragon. So with Arissa, our main goal is to try to never use our cooldowns, um, at the same time, specifically fortify and javelin spin. And then the actual javelin, um, we just want to use if somebody gets too close to us. A lot of the times I like using it on cooldown, but we don't, we're trying to, it's kind of interesting because you're playing a lot more aggressive with Arissa than you were with Sigma. Um, we don't really want to use our abilities to uh, engage. Arissa is a lot more about like, this is my space, I'm hunkering down, you have to push into me. So especially against a brawl comp, you want Arissa to just feel like a turret. Like you have to get past this point to engage. Like you have to get kill me and I'm right here and I'm in LOS of my healers and I can hide behind this payload as well. And that's, that's just the idea of playing natural cover. So with Arissa, it's less like I need to take space and then give space it's you are engaging into me and that is a mistake because i have all these abilities that makes it really hard to kill me so again so now I want us to be like here and just shooting so we can try and build our ult. And then when, if they can engage here, we can maybe even engage here. But I kind of, I, at first I want to be back here because our team is not fully together. I don't want to engage without both healers. And this is a, a distance that's going to be harder for them to hit me than it is for me to hit them kind of thing. So I want to stay right here as our team is regrouping and just get try as many headshots as I can. We have infinite ammo, so we're going to use it. In, in that area, it has natural cover. Like, this also has natural cover, but I just want to shooting, shooting, shooting. Yeah, be very wary about hitting W as much with Arissa. Make them go into you. This is very winnable, because our Genji is, is good. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Nice try. But yeah, the playstyle you would think is is similar between uh, Arisa and Sigma, but it, it's really not. Um, Sigma is a lot more ebb and flow, and Arisa is a lot more like sedentary of like, especially on defense, you will push into me. And then on attack, it is a little bit like, oh, okay, well now this is my spot and you still have to push into me. And so then you take that space and it's like, I, I am like a titan versus Sigma is like, I'm 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 just pressure. I'm a wave, you know. So I want us trying to shoot. I just tried to point physically. Uh, I want us to be like shooting either through here or like this side because we want to be pushing and trying to shoot the squishies instead of shooting um, the tank because this putting pressure on these guys will force the tank to respond. Oh my god, I keep hitting all the weird buttons. Okay. So like shooting through the window here, we could get some pressure on, on the Moira. Yeah, like this. I like this. And then even then, even here, I would still keep shooting in that direction. We can just, all, we can really just ignore her. Very nice.
But it's also partially because we were doing the correct thing that we have won this fight. Because we were shooting through the window and putting all that pressure, all that splash damage into their back line, it forced the Junker Queen to fall back. And as she was falling back, she was taking damage from our team, and then ultimately we forced damage onto her as well. But then it's like, now we need to take more space again because we don't want them to take bridge. So that means that we need to play like up here and then be shooting at them here. So that way they can't, um, they can't have bridge for free. They have to use resources to take bridge or we get all charged for bridge, one or the other. And then as they get closer to you, then you can fall back and give this piece. Yeah, call back shield. It's just a lot of like, I just want it to be like out uh, cast back. It could be a little bit longer than that, but that's the general idea. We get a lot of value from our shield being charged. This is good. Nice try. I really appreciate that you're weaving in these melees. And I like the shield dancing we were doing there too. This is good. Now I need us to go take the space again. We know people are going to stay in point, specifically our supports. Um, so I want us to go, like, I want us to go far. I want us to take this high ground. So that way if we're, like, even... If we're even here and somebody comes with us, this is a lot of pressure. And then as they come, we can shield, we can fall back. And then we could suck if we needed to. And then we could be all the way back here. And then we could fall back down here if we needed. But it, ultimately, somebody should... Um, come with us high ground so that way this is ours and it's not theirs. We looking for a good alt here. Oh, big alt. Nice try. Oh, unfortunate. Yeah, so I just really want us thinking about if I... If I, you you want to take space that you can give. Because right now we're not gaining any space, so then they're just running into us in uh, kind of for free with all their cooldowns that it's just like, oh, I could have, if I took other space, I could have given that to them instead. We can always take and give back versus very hard for us to retake. And Brawl is like very strong right now, so you're gonna have to, you're gonna the more you can like play on these high grounds and the better you can like get against playing against Brawl, um, the more rank you'll get. It, it just Brawl is very, very strong right now. No, oh, nice try. This is all fine. We can definitely push into this because we're up. I don't mind this kind of shield dancing. It sucks that our shield broke though. When we have health resource, we can use our health as a resource to recharge our shield. So we could have maybe called it back, but it's fine. And then especially if we have over health, that's definitely a resource. The main thing we can do to get over health is um, fire strikes and zen, uh, zen volleys. I like this. I really- I want us to be high ground, but this is still fine. Very nice. Oh, very, very juicy damage. Good, good, good. And then, yeah. Just greed. Perfect. My ultimate is ready. Nice, but, but like here, we don't want to give them bridge for free. So, from that, either we can take again. I don't know why it just did that. Um, we can either again take like this high ground, or even just playing right here and trying to shoot them as they come out of spawn. If we can see any of that, we could be try shooting like right here and getting some splash damage. We could have somebody spot checking on this side to see if they're going to go this way. But uh, the fact that they're like fully grouping up is um, a little bit scary for us, honestly. So we should use this time to try and position. And I think like here wouldn't be bad if we really wanted to try and take here again. 
like any any high ground is going to be very very good for us and good for our ash so so she can have that space for free to set up I also think that early alts are always very good, so it's possible that um, if you're gonna have alts and they don't, you can try and commit them quickly. So if we just get like 3% ult charge here, by being a little bit further up, and um, able to shoot the backline, very nice. I, I would even look for an ult here and then set up on the high ground with that. It's very unfortunate our shield broke. So even like here I'd be looking for an ult, because now we're down one. And if you're willing to calm, you can try and tell your Ash to like set up high ground with you because that will provide um, some of the most value to your team. Is your is your Ash just being high ground? Okay. I like this. I'm a little bit iffy about this because we the the most value we're gonna get out of our ult is if we have already damaged somebody and we know they're grouped up so when we're ulting when we don't have great visual on them to begin with we're not sure what we're gonna get and if you have shot at them a little bit beforehand then we know they're gonna be half like look at if you if you tried to get them over right now or any of their team right now this is all fine So now I want us pushing up to bridge or pushing up to the high ground one or the other. Ten seconds so I fully want us like on the curve of this bridge. Yes, this is nice. And then start falling back the second she walks past your shield. We need to recall shield as well. Yeah, so this could be really bad because we haven't recalled our shields and now we won't have this ability if we need to mitigate any damage very quickly. Yeah, so the second she pushes this on up, which is past the shield, this is a very uh, scary scenario. Like, this is a very good job, but we needed to start falling back and, like, recall shield and suck as we fall back again. Those were the kinds of things we needed to do right there. It's unfortunate. Their Ryan really did a lot. And and a part of it is just like, okay, even if you did not set up on the high ground, like your Ash should have, and that would have provided a lot of value, and, and she necessarily wasn't. Um, but I think, I hope that gives you kind of an idea of how to play, like, a poke into a brawl, specifically like a Sigma Ash comp, or like, really Sigma in any hit scan, um, kind of comp against like a Rhine or a Junker Queen, or I'm trying to think of like a Ram. Uh, because the more we are high ground, the more it's going to be hard for them to engage into us. Um, and it's a lot of... I, I, I'm trying to remember who said this, um, but it was just like when you are tank on defense, you get to choose where to engage. And when you're a tank on an attack, you get to choose when to engage. And so that's what it it really if you feel that especially hard on escort maps of just like oh, okay, um, we saw them like fully regrouping, and then that's what I mean by the, uh, and like taking very strong corner fights, and instead of having to force us to take the corner fight, if we took the high ground fight, I think we would have been in a lot better position. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know, and I hope that helps.